In this video, we're going to look at Earth's origins and how those origins were conducive to forming the first biological molecules. We're going to talk about the Earth in general, then look at some of the conditions in the early Earth, including the early atmosphere, and how this atmosphere contained the chemicals for life, which are the building blocks for all complex life as we know it today. The Earth on which we live is a 4.5 billion year old rock. It's made up of mainly iron, oxygen, silicon and magnesium, but all the known elements that we find on Earth are also there in much smaller amounts. Now these elements are not found uniformly distributed throughout the Earth. For example, the majority of the iron is actually found in the solid core, while lighter elements such as oxygen and silicon floated to the top and are more abundant in the crust. In its 4.5 billion years of history, the conditions on Earth have changed drastically. What started out as a ball of molten rock with surface temperatures of between 1000 and 1200 degrees Celsius, where all the water on the Earth consisted of water vapour in the atmosphere. In less than a billion years, this cooled significantly, allowing the crust to form and the water to form oceans. Now, the water came from the constant bombardment from meteors. The meteors with them brought little tiny crystals of water and over many, many years, uh, these crystals of water formed the oceans. Now, looking at the early Earth, it was covered in vast oceans with not very many landforms. Uh, the tectonic plates were still very new, so we didn't have the deep, deep trenches in the oceans or the high mountains. Uh, we had mainly volcanic islands popping out over the ocean of reasonably uniform depth. These volcanic eruptions spewed masses of gases, uh, volcanic gases, as well as ash, dust, soot, and water vapour into the atmosphere. The atmosphere at this time did not have an ozone layer, so it was not protected from the high amounts of solar radiation coming from the sun. And because the moon was so close to the Earth, severe electrical storms were very, very common. The early atmosphere was very different from the atmosphere that we have in Earth today. It was anoxic, it did not contain any oxygen, and instead of oxygen, it had lots of toxic chemicals that were spewed into the atmosphere through the multitude of volcanic eruptions that occurred all the time. The main chemicals needed for life are carbohydrates, lipids, proteins and nucleic acids. And the atoms that make up these main chemicals for life were the same ones that are found in that early atmosphere. So for example, carbohydrates and lipids are made of carbon, hydrogen and oxygen, which was all in abundance in the chemicals that were there, while proteins and nucleic acids also needed things like nitrogen, sulphur and phosphorus which were available in the atmosphere as well. And the harsh conditions that were found in the atmosphere, so the volcanic eruptions, the electrical storms, the high amounts of solar radiation, all these conditions are very conducive to reactions occurring and the forming of bonds between these atoms. These four very important chemicals for life are all made up of quite simple building blocks. For example, all the different carbohydrates are made up of only a small number of monosaccharides, whilst all of the 500,000 or so proteins that are found inside the body are made up of only 21 amino acids. So here's an example of a monosaccharide, glucose, as well as an amino acid, glutamine. Now these are pretty simple molecules. Glucose only has 24 atoms in it, while glutamine only has 10. So it's not crazy to think that in about a billion years, 
these atoms that are already floating around in the atmosphere as well as dissolved in the ocean uh, didn't bump into each other and happened to bond in this particular way. So it's quite possible that by accident uh, these things came together and formed very early amino acids and carbohydrates. And from these building blocks, all the important biological molecules could be made. In this video, we've looked at the Earth, which is a 4.5 billion year rock that's changed a lot in its 4.5 billion years. We've looked at the early Earth, which had an anoxic atmosphere, was consistently bombarded by meteorites, as well as having high amounts of radiation from the sun and huge electrical storms. We've looked at the early atmosphere, which was quite toxic and contained a whole heap of gases that are not around in the same abundance today. The chemicals for life being carbohydrates, lipids, proteins and nucleic acids and how these dangerous chemicals that were available in the atmosphere contain the same atoms that we need for these important biological molecules. And we've looked at how these biological molecules have made up of fairly simple building blocks that quite possibly could have formed by accident.